If you have sleeves in your dress, put panty liners underneath your armpits because it'll soak up your sweat. Must have supplies for being a bridesmaid. Alcohol, camera at all times. Deodorant, like a small go-to. Bobby pins are a big one. Chapstick. And tissues, you cry a lot. Makeup and hairspray and band-aids and neosporin and a little bit of alcohol on hand. Tampons. Crazy glue and duct tape. I've been a bridesmaid once, twice. Three times this year. Three times, about to be four. I've been a bridesmaid five times. Being a bridesmaid is constantly getting texts and a group text all the time. How much does it cost to be a bridesmaid? It's so expensive. I wanna say upwards of $300. $600, maybe $800, $300, but then tailoring is another 200 plus. The baseline of the dress was around $300, but because I'm plus size, there's the surcharge on that. The whole package, at minimum $1,000 a person, could be anywhere between two to 3,000. It's just, here's my firstborn, I guess. One time I was a bridesmaid in a wedding that took place on St. Patrick's Day and the dress was green and I looked like a big green bean. Short and teal and we're gonna be wearing it with cowboy boots. The sequins started hard uh, at the end of the night. It's a silver dress, it's a little bit of a peplum. Kinda made me look like a little disco ball. That purple one has been in the garbage for a solid 15 years. So is the wedding and marriage from that one. I have definitely had the bridesmaid up to. It looked like a mix between a synchronized swimmer and then Lizzie McGuire. No, I've never had a bridesmaid updo before. Trying on bridesmaid dresses has been really awkward. I've seen people go in and, and get really upset being like, oh, this is like double the size or triple the size of a normal dress that I would wear. I feel like bridesmaid dresses run big. I feel like when I try on dresses, they always run a little small usually. Because they know you're gonna have to alter them anyway and someone's gonna get paid to make them smaller for you. I'm a little bit smaller than the smallest bridesmaid's dress, so anything in store, they have to kind of clip and be like, it probably will look fine. I have really broad shoulders and I'm really tall, and so finding something that not only makes my like shoulders look not so broad and is not like hiking up with my long legs, that's my biggest problem. I have a very large chest, and I've had straps added to my dress before. I've had boning put in to help well, with the girls. The problem sometimes is that you get a sweetheart neckline for your bridesmaid's dress, and that is really difficult for me uh, with a larger bust, because you can't really find a good strapless bra. Like those with like the mermaid skirt, those trumpet dresses. I have to size up to fit the rest of me and then makes it for a lot of alterations. I would personally prefer a short dress because I'm about five feet tall on a good day. I'm usually larger than the other bridesmaids when I'm in a wedding and it can take a lot to find a dress that fits me well. If you're the only plus size girl, the, the worst part of it is usually the person who works at the store because they seem a little stunned that I showed up even though we normally tell them what size I am before I got there. They don't normally have anything I can try on. As like a plus size woman, it was always dreadful having to go into stores that wouldn't have my size and like sit there and kind of like pretend it didn't bother me and joke. It's hard not to feel excluded when you go in there and you just can't even get the dress that you're supposed to wear. It's like people who make these dresses don't want us at the wedding. They want us to hide in the background because they don't want us to have a dress. It's nice to have options that are cute for me and that are form fitting and still make me look fabulous. I've never gotten to wear my dress again. Never worn my bridesmaid's dresses again. Never worn any of my dresses again. Never wore the thing again. Yes, I've worn a bridesmaid's dress again. I wore it for an improv event where I walked into the ocean and essentially ruined it. I actually think I'm going to wear my bridesmaid's dresses again to other weddings that I'm just a guest at. I've never caught the bouquet. I love to catch the bouquet. I think it's one of those fun things that you're like, all right, I'm next, but I'm not done. I'm going to catch it. Part of me wants to do it just to be like, Oh my God, I caught the bouquet. Like, but mama enjoys being single right now. It's me and my dog. You know, a lot of people have so much stress around weddings and the size they are and dieting beforehand and how they're gonna look in pictures. At the end of the day, it's gonna be a fabulous time. You're gonna look gorgeous no matter what because you're having a great time. You are going to dance. You are going to drink. You are going to hopefully make out with one of the cute groomsmen if things are going right. You get all those perks. Bang a limo ride, get a nice guy on your arm. I went to a bachelorette party with Sherman strippers, male strippers, and we had a blast. On a bachelorette weekend, we went to Vegas. What happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. I can't tell you too much about it. I feel like you really get to know the bride. Dance floor. 
hands down. Give me a dance floor all day, all night. I'ma be on it. Your friend is about to go through the best day of her life because she found someone that she's excited to be with and you get to be there and celebrate that with her and that's the best time to have. That it's probably one of the most fun Girl Squad experiences you can have. And a dance floor. All for me. <laughs>